I walked down the winding steps until I got back down to the hallway. Before I could think about what to do next, I noticed Karen exiting my bedroom. <gasps> Karen in the of wine, that bitch himself. is a thief! Karen, you bastard! Come into my room and let us talk about it with the door closed. <laughs> Ahem. He only smirked at me and didn't look at all embarrassed at being caught. Why don't we share it, Karen? Why don't we have a nice evening over wine together? Karen, you bitch! You want it, human? Come and get it. Ooh. See, Karen's got the same idea as me. He uncorked it and took a swig while swaying suggestively and walking backwards. <sighs> Robin, you can just like, like take your headphones out and like go to the bathroom or something if you need to, because I'm about to romance Karen. It might have been Stexy if he didn't stumble to find the door he wanted. Oh no, that's Good kind job, of endearing. <laughs> that is really endearing. See, I was already endeared, so now you're, yeah. I have a name. It's Ellie. Stop calling me human, or I won't have sex with you. <laughs> he didn't react to what I had said, and instead opened the door and vanished behind it. Please follow Just him. Just go in his fucking room. He left the door slightly ajar. Here I come, here I come. I shrugged and started to walk back to my own room. No! If I needed a drink later, I could just ask Eris, I suppose. But... Brenton had said that Karen slept in the library. Oh, see? Karen had practically invited me. But was I sure I wanted to follow that guy into a strange Kick room? Kick the door open. Yes. Kick it open. Yes. Kick it open. <laughs> Karen, holy fuck! Yes, go to Karen's room. Plus Karen. Hey, I got that point back. I took a hesitant step towards the door Karen had stepped through. The books were in there. I had to do it. Just do it and don't think about it. I pushed the door open. The rusted hinges groaned in protest. Ooh! He probably did not think that you would be brave enough to do it. He was like, this bitch is not going to. And then I do. And he's like, oh my god, that bitch did. Look at this cute little room. I do I do think it's a it's a very good room. It's a very good, sexy room. It's got do a you nice, think sexy they're going to let us see Tristan's and uh, Seta's rooms before? I yeah. hope so. I hope so. It seems important. I took a few steps inside when the door slammed shut behind me, making me jump. Karen, do you mind? <gasps> Sorry. Okay. 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 <laughs> are you... Are you... Uh, Recovering? <laughs> Are you retrieving your chill? Give me like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm Did you move across the room? I- no, he's like two inches behind me. No, I, my question was did you like get up? Did I physically- no, I just leaned back really <laughs> far. Um. I just want to look at this art for a while. I just want to look at this art for a while. Are we about to have like weird library rendezvous? I don't because think I find so. That kind of hot. I find that hot. I don't a think that the rendezvous. rating is high enough for that. We can just we can just. That's why I'm saying rendezvous. <laughs> you don't understand. We're gonna cut to black. Listen, the way that the fire. I'm assuming it's fire. Is light is hitting him right now is very cute. Also, he has on a studded choker. <laughs> you didn't notice? It's got like it's notice. fully like spiked. Like, like, there's so much happening that it's like, yeah, of course he's got a studded choker. What is this X on the chest? Is that, like, fabric or is that leather? I, I could not tell you what the fuck it is. This glove also has really conformed to his fingernails in a way that is very weird. And No, actually, I feel like he's doing the thing where he actually has no nails on that hand. Glove. It's just that the nails are literally on the glove. I, I swear to God, like, when, like, the COVID stuff was just happening and I had to go to CVS to pick up my prescription, I swear to you, I saw an employee wearing, like, disposable, like, rubber gloves with acrylics on the gloves. I swear I I've saw that. I've seen some people with, like, uh, like, real gloves who, like, multi-use gloves that so have had that. Anyway, okay, okay. I'm it's back, like a back fashion to what I'm talking thing, about. I think. I'm looking at Karen. Okay. It's corn. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I will click when I am ready. And his eyes are like pink. Is he already drunk? That's kind of... I think that's the lighting. And his bracelet is cute. And his nails are terrifying. And we lost one of the peacock feathers. It's probably just hiding under the other one. 
is probably just hiding under the other one, and this glove is scary. But also, the artist drew this hand really well. <laughs> like, kudos to the artist. This is a really good hand. Okay. Now I'm ready. Hello. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm and I'm really not sure. I'm really glad you can't hear him because I really think that you would freak out even more. <laughs> and I don't think I could I could deal with how long we'd be waiting for you to get for you to recover. Robin, listen, you knew this going in that I'm like this, that I need to stop and just sort of survey. That's fair. This is what people watch us for is us yelling people at each other. People don't watch us. This is what my uncle watches us for. He stood with the bottle of wine gripped in his hand. His other hand held the door shut behind me. Had he been standing there waiting That's for That's also me? really funny, is like imagining him standing next to the door just waiting. Waiting for me to walk really through. Funny if he didn't, if we'd picked the I other know, option, there for several minutes. Also, this is just after he like accidentally like weirdly bumped into the door because he was walking backwards like a dipshit. I love Karen. He's so stupid and bad at being smooth, and it's working. I swallowed and tried not to appear nervous, even if the way he was looking at me made my skin crawl. Girl, Ten thousand percent, she is not into it. Ten thousand percent, I am not her. <laughs> she and I are having different experiences right now. Why was it different here, now? Hey, dude. He smiled and moved closer, putting space between me and the door. So good of uh, you to visit me. So close. He held my bottle out to me and waved it slightly. I could hear the liquid inside slosh around. It felt like there was a haze enveloping me, and I was struggling to remember why I had even come in here. Hey, what are you? Hey, hey, you're not an incubus, right? Hey, guy? <laughs> Karen, I... Go on. Take a sip. Hey, Karen? Hey, bud, what's hey, going Karen? on? Hey, Karen, you're not, you're not an incubus, right? He put it to my lips, lifting gently. Hey, Karen? I moved my arm to push it away, but then took the bottle from him and drank from it. Hey, Karen! That's good. Now, what does it taste hey, like? Hey, Karen? Kinda weird, bud. Hey, Karen? Hey, Karen? It didn't taste like any wine I had ever had before, including the time I drank from this very bottle earlier. Hey, Karen! Hey, Karen! I joked earlier and called you Dionysus, but are you Dionysus? <laughs> what is this? He grinned and answered simply, oh, I'm Wine. Sorry. He reached out to me and ran his thumb over my lower lip, then brought his thumb to his mouth and licked it. But we, I don't know you like that. <laughs> Not even the really, really good stuff. Eris buries that out back somewhere, I think. He's blushing. What's wrong, dude? Why is he blushing? He, he did that, like, really smooth, like, he drank some wine off his thumb off my face or whatever, and he's like, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. Like, it actually succeeded, and he's not sure how to cope with that. Wine? He might just be drunk already. Maybe he's, like, a real lightweight. I think- oh my god, he's a- he's a- he's a lightweight. He's an alcoholic lightweight. <sighs> I'm obsessed with him. He urged me to take another drink, so I did. It was making me feel warm. It was really cozy in this room, not like any other room I had been but in. But what are you doing? Come over here. Don't you think standing is just too much effort? I don't like this whole, like... I think Karen's an incubus for real. I, I don't like this. He led me deeper into the library. The lights danced around the room as the flames of the candles flickered. There was a lit fireplace. Maybe that's where the warmth was coming from? Karen? I wasn't sure what I wanted to ask him. I had come in here for a reason. I just couldn't quite remember it right now. Shh. Sit down with me. Take another drink. That sounds like a threat. It does. He reclined against a large sofa that sagged with his weight. There were pillows and blankets lined up for comfort all over the room. He pushed them aside so that I could sit beside him. I started to sit, but no, wait. I... I came in here. He took my hand and pushed the bottle of wine into it. Stop Drink that. It's really good wine, right? I nodded and took another drink. Normally I could hold my liquor, but this stuff was going straight to my head. I felt so heavy, so I sat down beside him. The sofa seemed to want to swallow me. It was so soft. 
Karen was watching me, so I handed back the bottle to draw attention away from myself. I wasn't comfortable when he looked at me so intently. How are we going to kiss him with that horn in the way? You don't. He took it to- well, I mean, like, later. Well, I think it's a curve. So, um, you know, the thing is- Sarah, you know that you don't, like, kiss someone straight on. You have to, like, turn to- not I know, but, like, don't you move a little bit. He took a deep drink not and like then set the bottle down. He leaned closer to me, placing a hand against my cheek. Something... This wasn't right, you but- You poor human. You don't like it here, do you? No. He saw right through me. He knew my thoughts and my secrets. I could trust him. I should trust him. I feel like you shouldn't, because we're getting the haze on the corners of Did the screen. Are, are we getting the bad end? I hope so. I can make you stay here very comfortable. If you let me. Comfortable? He nodded. I'll help you, and in return you can help me. You wouldn't mind, mind that, that, would you? I, uh, no, 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 no. That's the whole thing we just did with the plant monster. No, I'll help you. When people keep fucking hypnotizing you, it happens. What if, like, he really just, to. like, he makes a deal with you and it's just, get me wine whenever I want? That, I hope that's what it I is. I just thousand percent think that would be so funny if, like, it was just, like, a really, like... I love this, it was just to get our wine. Like, a hard, like, record scratch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I would help him. I had to help him. Anything he wanted. Next time you see Eris, I want you to tell that... Oh my god, I think you're right. Eris, like, bursts in the room, like, stop! Tell me <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> the fog around the room and my mind seemed to drop with a cold splash of water. I jumped up, feeling caught and confused. Damn it! Karen, how many times do I have to tell you to stop trying to enchant the worshippers? Enchant? felt. My head was starting to hurt. I looked down at Karen, who only grinned at me. He had been trying to... I touched my cheek, where his hand had just been. What had he been planning to do? I snatched the wine bottle from where he had put it, and please break it over his head! Are you gonna hit him with it? I think that's a good a good plan. I just... You gotta I just, throw it at the I wall. Like, those are your okay. options. You have to either, like, prepare to hit him, or you have to go hardcore and just Slam that sh I think- I think we need to throw it at the wall because I think that's wild. I want to prepare to hit- okay, I either okay. want to hand it to him- I think or preparing to hit him with it is gonna be I think selfish. It's wild. I think selfish wild. handing it to him is selfless, and I think selfless. throwing it at the wall is wild is and wild. also what I would do. I feel like I would hand it to him. You're just like, it's not worth this, I'm leaving? I don't- I- I- I don't- I don't- I'm gonna hand it to him. Sorry, sorry, Robin. You got a plus tame, <laughs> loser. This, it's what you want. Now leave me alone. Oh. Okay, so it was still how me. How kind? Oh, how kind? We got some plus Karen. Eris sighed and shook their head at him. Karen didn't seem to notice. Eris grabbed my elbow and tugged it, clearly wanting me to follow. I glared at Karen. He had some serious nerve. The bastard didn't even look upset. I should have hit him. I changed my mind. He didn't object as Eris practically pulled me back out into the hall. <laughs> as fresh air began to hit my lungs, I suddenly remembered. I had wanted to look for a book. The door was shut. There had been books, though. Lots of them. Damn it! Do you think... What you need to be more careful. I'm not going to be able to help you out all the time. Don't let your guard down here. What do you think would have happened if we'd gone back into our room? We needed- I don't do know what would happen- Do you think that he would have come into our room, or do you think it would have just, like, ended it? I think it would have ended it. I want to know what he wanted us to tell Eris, because I feel like it was, like- I think it was just tell Eris, like, to to give him more wine or something. I thought it would be some, like, cool character-revealing stuff. Okay. <laughs> like, some backstory stuff. <sighs> oh, well. I didn't say anything. I didn't trust myself to speak. I was too angry. They glanced over at my door and spoke. Your dinner is in there. Bye, Eris. 
Eris is the only I person here I trust. <laughs> I watched them leave. Their steps were light and graceful. I was thankful Eris had stopped Karen, but at the same time I was furious that I was here at all. There was nothing left to do right now, and eating might help clear my head. I would, like, get one of those canvases or something from uh, Brenton's room, and I would use it to, like, write, like, really crude phrases and gestures at Karen, and then I would, like, slide <clears throat> under his door, and I would just keep Be doing like, that and pissing him off yeah. until he decides to kill me. <laughs> there was nothing left to do right now. Eating might help clear my head. I opened my door and stepped into what had become my room. I hate my room. It's so I basic. Said, Why does everybody else get like a cool character-based room and we get this crap? I hate it here. <laughs> I, I think it's because they've been here longer. So they've had time to like I make it their own. I stepped through the door and saw a plate of simple food laid out. I approached the table, falling heavily into the small chair. It was a chunk of bread and a large bowl of stew. The bread felt rough as if homemade. I took a few sips of the soup, and it was edible. It might have been good, but it was as if I had lost my taste buds. I was too stressed, scared, and focused on finding an escape to notice any kind of flavor. Didn't Tristan come back? Karen must have taken the older bottle of wine, because there was a new one set out for me. I filled a glass really, and like, took a care They're just not giving you water ever? Like, it's always alcohol? You just get wine. It was weak and nothing like what I had drank in Karen's room. I actually felt a bit disappointed. There was something about the wine Karen had given me that lingered. Just go back to his room and ask for more. <laughs> the food was almost gone when the door creaked open. Seta stepped through and quickly shut it behind her. Care to knock next time? She ignored me. I saw you come out of the library. Did you get the book? I scowled and the food I had just eaten suddenly felt like a cold, sour weight in my gut. Why don't we just stop these games and you tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do to be- or what I'm supposed to be looking for? Seta grinned and moved closer to me, almost seeming to glide. You get more flies with honey, you know? Well, honey it is. I took a deep breath and tried to speak tactfully. It would be easier for me to find the book if you would just help me. That's better, I guess. Oh, no. She wanted you to be mean. She wanted me to be mean, but she just said that I needed honey. Zeta! That's better, I guess. There is an unmarked leather-bound book of rituals. It's very, very old and handwritten. It should be in the library. I sighed heavily. It was one thing to look for a specific book. It was something like that? If it didn't have any outward markings, how would I identify it? The better question is, why was Seta telling me any of this to begin with? Why are you helping me? What could she possibly gain from helping me find the book? She didn't seem to care for Nyarbalt, but if I went missing, wouldn't she get in trouble? Something just wasn't right here. I waited for her to reply. You poor little mouse! I just hate seeing so many wretched humans pass through here only to die horrible, horrible deaths. They never last long. Won't you get in trouble for helping me? Darling, it's so wonderful to know you're worried. I can take care of myself. Out of the kindness of her heart, really? Was I going to believe that? No, I wasn't. Still, now wasn't the time to discuss that. I wanted to know more about that book. So the book will tell me how to get home? There should be a ritual in it that'll help. I'm not completely sure. I've never managed to get my hands on it. I think she just wants out too, you know? I think that's the whole thing. Probably. So you don't know? You're just guessing? I know about the book. I know it contains powerful rituals. Isn't that enough? What other leads could you possibly have? My question is... My question is... Uh, Karen has been living in that room this whole time. Why wouldn't Karen just find it and use it? Or well, why wouldn't maybe Seta Karen just ask want to. him? Why wouldn't Seta... But... I don't know why Karen... Or we don't know why Karen doesn't have the ability to problem. use it. But maybe it's but specific you have to be a human to do the spells. 
Well, you give it to Seta. I don't know why Seta doesn't just roll up and be like, yo, Karen, I guess we need to find out more she about- I might not trust him. I don't think these yeah. two would get along. I don't think any of them get along with each other at all. I could see Tristan and Brenton getting along. I could- okay, yes. Yes. Yes, I could see that too. But that's just because I feel like You'd Tristan would get along with rather try to survive this place for a few years? She sighed, but the grin never left her face long. Set a <sighs> I've done my best to help you, my sweet. Let me know if you get your hands on the book, won't you? I didn't answer, and she didn't wait for one. She gave me a small, elegant wave and left. Yeah, I think she wants out, too, because if you think about it, she saw me coming out of the library, and then she immediately, like, ran in here and didn't even knock. You know, yeah. she's like... Or there's another ritual in the book she wants. Yeah, uh, that too. I was alone again and felt uneasy. I was also starting to feel incredibly tired. I glanced at the bed. How long had I been awake? Do you Passing think... Out? I'm pretty sure we missed the Seta um, image. And I think it would have been if we picked a different... Spider? Spider thing, yeah. Hmm. Well, sorry folks. Uh, I glanced at the bed. How long had I been awake? Passing out was probably not the most restful way to sleep. Then I noticed it. There were no clocks. No sun, no moon, no stars. I checked my phone, but it was already dead. Stupid battery. There was no way to tell how much time was passing. Maybe it worked differently here. I suppose I could ask Eris. Ellie. And Eris shows up. Damn it. I practically jumped out of my skin. I grabbed my chest and resisted the urge to throw something at them. Knock. Please, can't any of you people knock? Seriously. Sorry. I am here to take your plates. They pointed down at the discarded food. If you would rather clean up after yourself, by all means. You can do it. I hate you. Bye. Selfish? <laughs> yep. They were taking my blood. The least they could do is the damn dishes. I'll only get in your way if I try, I'm sure. Good point. <laughs> they agree. They grabbed the tray off the table and eyed me suspiciously. Since they were here, I might as well ask them. How do I tell time here? I don't know when I should sleep or- Sleep when you're tired. You'll get used to the timelessness eventually. Oh. Okay. Seriously? Yes. Time yes. stands still here. Time stands still here. In a way. He's, he's, it moves coffee. all at once. It's too complicated for you to understand. I think you're going to watch back and be really amused that you're still talking along with it. Maybe. I just forget, you know? I can't yeah. hear it. I rolled my eyes. Fine. Sleep whenever I want. Got it. Okay, then. Eris walked out, tray with dishes in hand, and they didn't look the slightest bit bothered by my attitude. 